hey YouTube, can I you with my Retro Cup team in the 3100, <coughs> excuse me, 3100 range? I started Ferret, Walrein, Orangaroo. So the thought process was, uh, Ferret has Sucker Punch, and I know there's a lot of Orangaroos out there, so super effective on the Psychics. Um, and then Orangaroos to deal with that. And then I was like, oh, Ferret doesn't have any moves for Flyers. Like Brick Brick Dig would be resisted, so I need something for Flyers. So I put in Walrein. So I played with that for five, six matchups, and then I'm like, oh. And then I finally saw a counter user on the lead. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't have anything for I have double weak to fighters. Then I could have just switched. To, I did switch up the order. I put a Rangaru first after. So a Rangaru was the lead for it in the middle there. But I'm like, instead of using uh, Wall Rain, I thought that Arc to Bax was a better safe swap. So if I did ABB style, try to draw out fighting with Arc to Bax as a safe swap. So that is it. That's a team. No, that's it. That's the video. Okay. Uh, that's the team. Let's get into the battles. So Ferret, um, I've used it. The only reason I have it, you you be, you must be looking at it like it's not that good. Why do you why are you using this? Um, it is because I have this built up for a factions league that I'm in, so I know how to kind of use it. Uh, a little slow on the switch here. I should have definitely come in quicker with Wall Ring because super effective on Diggersby. So you have Sucker Punch, which is a, a decent hitting move. Again, it is non-stab. The, pr the whole problem with Fret is that, yes, he's got like nice bulk uh, and Sucker Punch is buff, but it's all non-stab, non-same type attack bonus moves. So Sucker Punch, Brick Break, Dig, and it's a normal typing. So that's a drawback with this Pokemon. Um, so because I delayed so much, I lost Switch there. So I'm just going to come in with the Ranguru, go for the full farm down. They come in Gyarados and get taken down there. Um, the diggers be low and they have their own orangu. So because I'm so far ahead on energy here, I can have a couple brutal swings back to back here. And I still have Ferret on the front, which will do super effective with sucker punches. So get the second brutal swing off, uh, forcing them to throw. Once they dump this energy, I'm, I'll probably get out into Ferret with my guess. Yeah. Trying to s swap there. Just going brick break. Brick break is neutral because they are psychic normal so this is still neutral it also lowers their defense so lowering their defense and hitting with super effective uh sucker punches is a good combo take the brutal swing because i can uh we both go down and now i oh no i don't have confusion we tie i remember the tying on the first one here orangaroo again on the lead so sucker punch super effective they get out into kingdra again way too slow with my wall rain Wall Rain wasn't a, like a super strong safe swap for a, for a few seasons there, but then uh, Icicle Spear got nerfed. No. Powder Snow. No, Icicle Spear got nerfed. Icicle Spear got nerfed. Uh, they do bait me with Octazooka and get the, the, the attack fall. I wanted to reset here, but I'm switch lock, so unfortunately I'm just going to have to throw a two times lowered Earthquake, which is not great because... Uh, will not do much, and then I'm like, okay, finally, let's get out here into this. They eventually get out to Superior, but this is where the Sucker Punch Brick Break combo can really start to add pressure. So, Brick Break is neutral in a lot of situations um, in this current meta. So, I'm shielding up a Frenzy because I've already uh, thrown it once. This will be the second one. It chipped a decent amount on the first one. And again, this continues to lower their attack. And so these sucker punches are really starting to add up here, right? And I get a third one off. So they're going to have to potentially shield this one up or this can put them in like the super red or take them out. It takes them out. So they come back in a Rangaroo uh, to get a move off. But the damage is done. A couple more sucker punches to put this down to the red. And now um, I make a catch here because they still have a shield so making this catch allows me to just uh, have enough health left just to take them out chrysalia another ghost nope another psychic pokemon where dark is super effective now as you're going to see uh moonblast does about 50 percent and the digs here do not do 50 percent um, they, yes, they're in the yellow, but that is because the sucker punches are doing all the work here. It's not the dig. So I'm going to commit the shield here, knowing that I could potentially flip switch, like 
uh, not flip switch, but like wind switch and come out with a bit of energy. Who knows what they have in the back? So they let the dig go, um, and it is Annihilate. So I'm staying in this matchup, obviously, because I'm like, oh yeah, uh, double weeks of fighting, but it's okay, now I can get their ringer on it. And they have a Kecleon. This is not the first time I've seen this Pokemon. I've seen a couple of these now. It has, same thing, Sucker Punch with uh, Aerial Ace, and I don't think I've seen the third move on, or the second charge move on this. But I've definitely seen the Sucker Punch and the Aerial Ace multiple times. Uh, but that Icicle Spear does a lot of damage there. So at this point, letting this go, um, I actually live with like 1 HP. So I get another move off here. The only problem is I give them a little more farm here. But uh, again, fusions are adding up. I do, again, normally with two shields, I never recommend throwing a charge move. You just got to come into the fast dam. But Trailblaze is one that boosts this attack, so I think it is worth throwing there. And then I need to make a decision. Is it close combat? Is it Rage Fist? I call the Rage Fist bait. It is. So I will take it out there for the win. So this one, again, um, Sucker Punch in itself, good. But then I'm like, oh, no, I don't have anything for Flyer, so I come in here. Walrein's pretty decent in this meta. Um, it does fine against a Rangaroo. Uh, and I mean, you need to throw a move, which I just seem to not be throwing a move here. But because you get to these ice cold spears so so quickly, um, you do like get a good amount of spam in here and a good amount of like damage with these, especially as the shadow. So grab a shield. Um, unfortunately, they will take me out. So now I'm gonna need to make a decision. I think I let this go and just come for it. But again, all this is for nothing. I think that's why. Um, you have the option to use like a hyper beam to cover these uh, flyers as a normal type move. So I lower its defense and then it is a crest in the back. So yes, I have brutal, brutal swing, which is super effective, but crest is very, very, very tanky. So even so that is <laughs> doing like a third of the damage and confusions are doing nothing. So this is a pretty rough matchup despite the super effective brutal swings. Uh, I showed up Moonblast because I kind of figured that Fret doesn't have a ton of play against Chris, uh, Altaria, so I may need to try and keep this alive as much as I can. But they get to another move, and now this Moonblast will land and probably do like 50%. Yeah, it takes me down to the yellow, so we both instant swap. Um, I'm hoping that I can like lower their defense with Burk Break and like sucker punch them a bunch to maybe you just put them in confusion range. If they don't throw here, force them to throw, but they make a great timing or just, <laughs> they just finally got to the move, but good timing right before he gets the next brick break. Take me out, which means with shield, they're gonna be able to take me out with ease. I gotta come into the farm down, not gonna get it. Good counting on their end. So I lost a couple in a row and, I, and one, I don't know if I put the prime ape loss in here, uh, but I lost the prime ape on the lead. So I was like, oh yeah. So then I switched to ABB. So those should be coming up soon. So neutralish lead. I still don't know. I think I'm still gonna put even though I switch out wall right, I still think I'm gonna put it in the title. Um, because I've already seen Ferret and other content creators. Um and the views did not do great. <laughs> Cause again, why why it's not something that people would often use, so Walrein it is. And Walrein does have play, even though I switched it out. Like, I could have just as easily kept Walrein instead of Arctabax and run ABB properly. Um, and just used Walrein as the safe swap. But, Airquinid, uh, resisting the Earthquake and the Icicle Spear. But, you know what? This thing chips and spams really, really quickly. So, we are just going to keep going here with these Icicle Spears. They end up shielding. I come in. Basically to sacrifice this Pokemon, I think. Get hit with a Water Pulse. I know that it has uh, a bug fast move. So I'm going to boost my attack here to maybe try and out Confusion. But I can't take a bug charge move. So I definitely got a shield and then... Oh, they shield too, so... Not the worst. Thunsparce has energy though, I think. So shield up the Bug Buzz. Um... Uh, Try to commit to the farm down. Just throw the brutal swing on the Dunsparce. Maybe I should have thrown Trailblaze. 
Um, yeah, maybe I should have thrown Trailblaze. Boost my attack, do a little more chip, and then I could have taken it out. And then I think they take me out with the move here. So, yeah, maybe if I threw the Trailblaze, I would have won that one. Okay, Oranguru into the lead for it. Art for it. Arc to backs in the back. Um, double to fighting in the back. Not leaving immediately because I know that I can probably just chip this. Let's see if I try and catch. Nope. Probably shield though. I've already got one shield from them. And uh, getting to these brutal things pretty quick here is great. And we'll see what they come in with here. Or shield, which I would be surprised. A Rangaroo, so I'm just going straight for it. Again, just one super effective, two. Okay, bye. I guess they do not have an answer. Uh, Haxorus. If I'm seeing a Haxorus on the lead, I'm already worried about a triple dragon team. So please shield. No. Okay, no, yeah. I'm already worried about a triple dragon team, right? You don't see Haxorus a lot in itself. So if you see one on the lead in a limited meta, we're dark and fair band, you got to start thinking, eh. Perhaps we're going to see a few dragons here. So I've already burned one shield. Break and Swipe does a lot. And look at that on Arctabax on the second. So already reading Triple Dragon here. Um, can I get to a move? I cannot. They get to it right before I get to the move. Now where am I coming after this? Going to come with a Ranguru. To get this out of here ASAP, knowing that we're just going to have a straight dragon matchup in the back here. So yeah, I'm just instant swapping, expecting it. And there it is. It is the Dragonite. And a little more health HP on my end here. Get the fast move down. Both. Both. There. Another Altaria. This is better than Fret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know how to play this. You'll see that I don't get out immediately in a lot of these matchups. Um, I probably should, but there's not a ton of fighters, right? With Orangaru everywhere, fighters are a little scared to to come in and play. So being double weak to fighting in the back doesn't bother me as much, although you still probably need to try and draw it out. That's, this is not how you should be playing it properly. Um, and Altaria, tanky. Going to take a third Brutal Swing to take this out. And eventually it is a Charge Bug in the back. And they get the full Volt Switch down. And now they're loaded with energy. So come in Arts backs because at least the Electric has resisted. But the X Scissors are neutral. And being down Shields and down on Energy. I talked in my video. Mm, what was that video? Yesterday afternoon, at the end of the video, I talked for 10 minutes about like shield energy, shield advantage, switch advantage, energy advantage. And this is like a matchup that I'm not happy with, right? Yes, I got switch advantage, but coming in down a shield and down a ton of energy uh, into a Pokemon that can really chip with the moves is not a great scenario to be in. So we're trying to overcome this, but again, now we got a, cr a bulky crest with a shield advantage. Uh, be able to moon blast me and do a ton of chip here. So looking pretty tough, but we'll see. Yeah, get the second grass not off, take me out, down shield, so I'm in trouble. And then can I farm down? Nope, they're definitely gonna get to a move to take me out. Uh, but I have to commit to the farm down because uh, they have a shield advantage. And they land a future site. Okay, this may be the last matchup. Dunsparce lead. And Arctabax is half ice. So you can't really get into that match because you're weak to weak to rock. So just kind of have to stay in here. Anyways, so I'm at 3100. I did drop a bit, right? Like whenever you see <laughs> whenever you see uh like a Pokemon on my screen with like a, t a team with two Pokemon in one spot, which means I changed the team up. I probably did not run with the team, <laughs> right? Uh, I definitely lost with the team if I had to like switch the team halfway through, but I did enough battles that I wanted to showcase it anyways. So I'm at 3,100, um, which is decent, right? 
Uh, I will continue to play. You maybe get, I'm trying to figure out just uh, timing on videos. You maybe get either the Master League video this afternoon or sometime tomorrow. Uh, I shot it earlier. And then we'll keep going. This this is a good cup. Um, and then we'll look at some viewer submissions. So any viewers who submitted, I will look at it there. Let me just check to see if there's any like comments on teams or stuff that you guys have written on my channel. Okay, I got this new community tab. A lot of new, so welcome to all the new subscribers, but there's also like a lot of new GBLers. Um, Xmas, Melly, Melly Mello, like I'm in, I'm on my first season being interested in PVP and actually enjoying it. Um, someone else wrote, did I already respond to the other one? Someone else wrote, um, this is my, f like a returning player from 2016 and you have helped me a lot. So there's a lot of like newer player. And again, there may be a lot of other YouTubers, GBLers who are much better at the game, making videos, <laughs> staying on tar on point when they're doing matchups. I'm one of the best their teachers of the game here uh, as a GBLer. So uh, what you get on this channel with a lot of these newer people is you will learn a lot of the basics, um, strengths like team building, different win cons and stuff like that, how, how to understand all this stuff that is very essential in GBL, um, where you probably do not get that as much on the other channels. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing any like team suggestions or just lots of comments. I do appreciate the comments. I appreciate the engagement. Um, but that is basically it where we'll call this video. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out what else I want to try. Like I said, I, I probably will try to push leaderboard. I don't know if I'll get there. It's now a couple hundred ELO away, but you never know. We can get a good team and grind. We still got a week and a half. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And I guess this is Friday. So one video this afternoon and then have a good weekend. Is there anything going on this weekend in the game? I am loving, I know remote raids are still expensive. I love being able to see your friends raiding and being able to just click and join a raid. I did two, one Palkia, one Dialga, uh, because those are two Pokemon that I still hunting. And I had like one of the boxes was like a good deal for like 10 green passes and three remote raids for like a thousand coins. So I think that was good value. So I bought a couple of those with my free coins that I've been collecting. Thank you, Specimen Unknown, for buying me the monthly ticket. Those have been very helpful. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, jumping in a couple of raids there. And I'll be, I guess this, I'm shooting this in advance, but tomorrow, yesterday, <laughs> I'm shooting this Wednesday for Friday, but I go into the office tomorrow. I'll probably go out for lunch and do at least one or two raids. And hopefully people see that and just jump in as well. Um, there is, when is this event? Wednesday, November 27th. That is next week. So we can cover that next week. Pokemon go max out final event. Uh, get ready for, I've already done the go wild area that is on. Oh, no, no, no. Go wild global. Saturday, November 23rd, starting at 10 a.m. Um, so I got to cover that. So that'll be my Friday afternoon. So the Master League will be pushed. The Master League will be pushed, uh, to Saturday, I guess. Oh man. Master League doesn't get views for any to start with and putting it on a Saturday where no one watches my videos during a go wild global. It's going to get like 20 views. Okay, Saturday, November 23rd and Sunday, November 24th from 10 to 6.15 p.m. That is the most random time ever. Uh, Gigantamax Toxtricity. Uh, Toxel from 10K Eggs. Mighty Pokemon. Uh, 
Is there, where is that? Is this just a lot of raids and uh, Max and stuff? Uh, Origin Form Dialga, Primal Kyogre, and a new Pokeball. Where the hell is all the Safari Balls, special bonuses, event stickers, avatars? Um, yes, thank you for the raids, ticket holders. You can upgrade your experience with the paid. No, thank you. What type of trainer are you? Straight, holy, this is a long thing, and I haven't seen one. Um, and I haven't seen one thing about like wild Pokemon. I guess this is. I'll have to like. I'll do actually some. I'll read it before I I showcase or cover this. And at the bottom there, I wonder if I'm in this picture. Or no, I guess Cricket did it with the uh, crickets at the bottom. Um, and this was, looks. This was New York because I remember that statue because we took pictures there. Uh, but I don't think I, I think these are just the ambassadors, so I wasn't in this one. Anyways, that's enough talking. That is it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good weekend. Good luck on this event, I guess, and I'll see you guys in the next one.